Now where I left off, I just finished that shape. So we, we can now go ahead and give that some sort of fill and now you can see that we have our proper boxes. Now one last thing that we could do is create a new box that goes on the outside so that we can make the outside line actually thicker than the other ones and that's a pretty common technique in 3D drawing. Now we're going to also look at another way to possibly do this. Another way to do it would be to start off by doing your drawings. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this one actually a little bit further down. So it's going to be in more um, exaggerated perspective. And I'm going to start drawing my lines. So everything's snapping to where I want it to snap to. And now that'll be the length of the box there. That should snap over to that side. The length of the box should be right here, let's say. And then that's going to snap across. Now you'll notice that I have my box inside there. And uh, so we've got all the intersections that we want. But what we can do is we can use this as basically a template for the next thing. So I'm going to lock the layer, make a new layer. And now using the pen tool, I'm just going to trace this shape because it'll snap to all the anchors that I need. So there's the first one. Now I'm going to do the next one. And the last one. And now I've got my three shapes. Now I could fill all of them at once. So if I turn off my old other layers, you'll see I've got my three shapes there and I can select them all and maybe give them a fill and then change the fill colors so that I have the three sides that I need. So that's a, a little bit faster method, I think. Um, and then of course you can go back and unlock the original lines and get rid of them because those lines of course are not going to be needed after you've used it as a template for drawing. Of course you can't really move the objects um, because of the fact that they'll change the perspective. So once you've drawn an object where it needs to go, it pretty much needs to stay there. So there's a, a very easy way for us to look at a couple different methods of drawing um, in Illustrator. Hopefully you'll find a method that works for you for manual um, object drawing in 3D perspective. And of course we could add um, either a zenith or a nadir and be able to do three-point perspective using the same drawing methods. So let's, uh, if you've done this, go ahead and save your work. Um, otherwise, go on.